If you watch this video, you will be able to build a neat aesthetic header like this, this, or this, whatever design you need. We will create this using free Elementor. Yes, you heard me, free and not the pro version. If you follow my steps, you will be able to create a header which has a drop down menu. And if you click any menu items, it redirects you to the respective pages. Also, I'll show you one feature that no other tutorial is talking about. If I make changes to my menu in the back end, it will automatically show up on the front end, which was not possible before because you had to do this manually. Okay, let's see how we can create this. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. First, head over to appearance, then click menus. This is where you can add your menu items. Once you've set up your menu, make sure to hit save menu. Next, make sure you install the Elementor header and footer plugins from the plugin repository. Now click add menu and we are going to create a new header. Name it something simple like default header or custom header. Next, choose header as a template type. Then under display on, we have loads of options to choose from, but for now, I'll select entire website. For the user role, I'll go with all, so the header is visible to everyone. Once done, click save draft and click edit with Elementor. Now I'll select the container structure and for the left side container, let's set the width to 20% and align the items to the center. Next, let's go to this section where you'll find some widgets provided by this plugin. I'll go ahead and add the site logo here and adjust it a bit so it fits well. Cool, now let's move on to adding the navigation menu. For the navigation, I'll change it to the primary menu and change the last menu item to a button. After that, I'll make sure everything is aligned perfectly. This part is pretty easy to do. Just play around with the positioning until it looks right. Once aligned, head over to the style section where we can give some space between the menu items to keep things looking clean. In the layout options, you can adjust the alignment, whether it's left, right, or center, and even change the submenu icon to arrows, a plus sign, or the classic one, depending on what fits your style. If you want, you can also add a submenu option for additional navigation layers. Below, you'll find the responsive part, which we'll get to later. You can also set the layout to vertical, expanded, or flyout. But for now, I'll go with the classic horizontal layout. Next, let's jump into the style section to add some design touches. You can customize the link hover effect, add animations, and design the typography and text color for each section. So let me quickly design this part and align everything. Once done, it should look something like this. All right, let's add the search icon next and quickly customize it as well. You can also add any custom link from here. Now for the profile image, switch the direction to row to make things easier. Then drop in your image. Set its custom height and width and link it to the profile page so users can click through. If it doesn't show up, just go to structure, select it and drag it into the place like this. To wrap things up, I'll add a background image to enhance it even more. I think I'm done. Let's publish it and view it on our website. And yeah, I think it looks good to me. Next, to make the header responsive across devices, let's switch to the tablet view. Here, we'll head to the layout option and align everything to the right. 
I think it looks pretty clean now. And you can click around to make sure the menu works as expected. Adjustments are easy, so tweak as needed. Next, switch to mobile view. I prefer hiding the search and profile icons here since they are unnecessary on smaller devices. Just go to advanced and hide them on mobile. To align the logo and menu properly, adjust the column width and padding and you're done. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.